I was around seven years old, huge fan, obviously. Who wasn't, right? Yeah. Everyone here is fan. Um, and I'm lucky enough to be one of the people who got a picture with the Sprouse twins. I didn't Google remember I. the moment. No. Well, and I didn't tell him about it until way, way into filming because I wanted to like be cool. You know, I wanted to yeah. be like, we're both actors. Like we're the same. We we're are not the same. <laughs> We are not the same, not at all. Hey guys and welcome to the Celebrity Expert, your number one source for all things TV shows and celebrities. And in today's video, we're going to look at Catherine and Cole Sprouse flirting with each other. Yeah, Catherine and I also knew each other for uh, a little while. She's been acting for almost as long as I have. Uh, we met up in Vancouver, she was filming Supernatural. And then I actually photographed her for Interview Magazine, I think it was. Um, and then when I had signed on, you know, we, we, Zelda and I were talking and I, we, we were kind of stuck because we really needed a female lead that could. Before we begin with this video, here's a quick and easy question for you all. Can you all tell us when did the movie Lisa Frankenstein released? If you know the right answer, let us know in the comment section down below or stick to the end of the video, which is when I'm going to reveal the answer to this question. Um, Cole says actor. <laughs> <laughs> What does yours say, Catherine? <laughs> what does mine say? Poodle. Poodle, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Did you take inspiration from any 80s movies, or do you have any favorite 80s movies? You know what? I watched a lot of The Goonies for some reason. I watched The Goonies over and over again, like, just a great movie. Catherine Newton is taking over in the best possible way. At 27, not only she has already amassed a vast filmography, but it's one that's packed with variety and bold creative swings. Was it hard to not speak? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. yeah. The, that little uh, annoyance part of my brain was like, well, let me speak. I want to annoy people. <laughs> um, no, I, I, I know I've said this a couple times, but... Uh, when I was growing up, I, I mean, I was a big monster movie guy and I was a big practical effects guy. Catherine Newton headlined a paranormal activity film. She's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. She was a comedy ace in Blockers. She stars opposite acting icons in HBO's acclaimed series Big Little Lies and she's a certified horror genre powerhouse thanks to Freaky. I want to know what kind of stood out on the page when you first read it about her. I mean... <laughs> <He's gonna> keep... <laughs> Federal noises. I think yeah. that's your thing. Yeah, that's that's your... <laughs> you're stealing my bed. I was really interested in playing a role where no one else spoke but me. Oh, well, other yeah. people speak, to... <laughs> not my co star. It was all about me. And then when she said Cole was doing it, I was sold. Radio Silence's next movie, Abigail and Zelda Williams' wonderfully dark and charming feature directorial debut, Lisa Frankenstein, is going to be an amazing movie. I tried to get him to wear it. It was kind of still an option. I think option. In, in one of the original fittings, the idea was that that was an outfit I wore often. I know. The big pink The big fluffy pink fluffy robe. thing. Uh, but, I know. tried to wear it too. I tried to pull it off set, actually. That's, it's the most you <laughs> outfit in that whole in the movie. sequence, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Catherine Newton leads as the title character, a misunderstood teenager who feels alone in the world after her mother is axe murdered in their living room. Lisa's stepsister, Taffy, played by the ever amazing Liza, is always there to offer support, but the only one who can fill Lisa's heart is a guy who died in 1837, played by Cole Sprouse. The internet pointed it out to me because in, really? in Big Daddy, uh, oh, I could just they, see you they ask me. Sky what they what I want to name myself and I choose Frankenstein. Oh, how did you say it? Frankenstein. Ah! Yeah. So I couldn't say my R's. I'd have a speech coach come in and teach me how to say my R's. It was Hurts. actually really sensitive for me, so thank you for bringing it up. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to be Well, I was the one who brought it up. So. Yes, that's right. <laughs> one night, Lisa's fantasy becomes a reality when a lightning bolt reanimates his corpse, kicking off a joyfully horrific adventure to help him regain his humanity and his missing body parts. I wipe. I wipe my own ass. Aww. Yeah. It's a classic. Yeah, <laughs> I used to get that all the time. You should put time. that on a hat. Yeah. 
Honestly, I, f I feel like you you kind of collect those over a long career. Like if you can have like four or five, then you're like, oh, solid. And you're cool with them. Like, like they don't, it's I, not something you like wish them. they wouldn't bring up anymore. No, no, no. I, I mean, I don't mind it. Because it's not like, you know, sometimes comedians get like, hey, tell me a joke. And that that's kind of like weird. Yeah. With Lisa Frankenstein and now in theaters nationwide, Newton took the time to join some of the interviews. And her interview revisit is an amazing journey that I'm going to take you through. <laughs> No, I, th I think it just kind of developed naturally. You know, Catherine, Catherine was, I knew she was gonna take like a very, very professional and almost to a point of uh, self-criticism uh, approach to <laughs> Lisa. I didn't think he was gonna do anything, you know? Yeah. I was worried. I was really, I was genuinely worried that uh, I wouldn't be giving enough. It's one thing to recognize one's dream to become a professional actor. It's another to actually believe you can do it. For Newton, that feeling didn't come from booking a big role or crushing a tough scene, but rather from an encounter that confirmed her work really makes an impact. Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm Cole. And we're from Lisa Frankenstein. Yes, we are. And what are we doing, Cole? We're, we're doing... What is the title of it? <laughs> Hold on, let me just wind him up real quick. Uh, uh, all right. Today, we're going to be looking at 80s fashion trends and saying if we should bring it back or keep it dead. A little fashion necromancy for you guys. In addition to Supernatural, she's now part of loads of films with hugely enthusiastic fan bases, Lisa Frankenstein included. In Williams' director's statement for the film, she notes, this movie isn't a groundbreaking spiritual journey that will change your worldly. Just put your hands in the air and let it take you. I'd love to come back. I loved Manila. I would love, love, love to go back. I think I, I think I ate more food than I ever have in my life in that one week that wow. I was with you guys. Uh, it was beautiful. Any chance? You guys invite me back. I'll, I'll come through, please. We're inviting you and Catherine. Please come through. Thank you. I'd love to. Williams recalls an early screening during which the host asked the focus group that they thought the message of movie was. Yes, there were mentions of some of the film's most wild elements like flying body parts, but one attendee said that you can be completely unhinged weirdo and still deserve to be loved. For me, it's simple. Gotta be nice. Definitely has to make me laugh. And no talking during a movie. That's a huge red flag. Not a problem with this guy, though. <laughs> Never says a word. Yeah, I wouldn't speak during a movie. But I do agree with you on needing someone funny. That's a huge deal for me. What? You can talk. You didn't talk the entire filming. I mean, months and months of filming, and all I hear from you is these weird, like, grunts and moans and, like, gurgling noises, and now you're just talking words? While it's clear, Newton soars in the role when you watch the finished product initially. There was some apprehension. She looked back on her first read of Cody's script and said, The first thing I realized is, wow, my co-star does not talk. It's just me talking. Like, 90% of the movie is just my voice. And I was like, wait a minute, how's this gonna work? the truest line of the movie. If you can take away one thing from this film, accept people as they are, and you'll be happy. Or disappointed. Or kill them. Go, 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 go. Is that Sherry? No. Catherine Newton certainly did not waste a moment on the set of Lisa Frankenstein and it served the film very well. Not only can those big swings strengthen an individual's performance, but they can also have a ripple effect that inspires scene partners as well. They all give her nightmares. They all give me nightmares. nightmares. Did you know this going in? That No. That you didn't know I, anything about me. No, I know you didn't like horror movies. Who who likes them? You people are I insane. Love I love them. It is the hot sauce of movies. You like, like hot sauce? I love it. I, I like I love hot Cheetos. Spice. I, I like I like a little bit of punishment. You know what I mean? I go to Don't extrapolate on that. Listen. Don't follow that line of thinking. Catherine Newton could not have been surrounded by a better team of people on the Lisa Frankenstein set, a team that included one of her greatest cheerleaders, Cole Sprouse. In fact, Catherine Newton noted that Cole Sprouse's confidence in her ability to pull off this role is a big reason she agreed to do it. Well, we first meet Creature in a Cemetery, and he's not alive yet. So I think the thing that attracts Lisa to him is that he doesn't talk. <laughs> She can just look at his pretty face and say whatever she needs, and she never feels judged. Now, isn't that sweet? It's so relatable. Too. It's, so it's so relatable. relatable. We all fall in love with the picture, right? This is why people love dogs more yeah. than other human beings. I know. Yeah. They don't talk back. All right, guys. So the answer to the question I asked you at the beginning of the video is February 9th. Yes, the movie Lisa Frankenstein released on February 9th. 
Hey everybody, I'm here with the stars of Lisa Frankenstein, Catherine Newton and Cole Sprouse. How are you guys doing today? Good. That's <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Catherine, it's good it's to see you again. Day. It was nice to see you too. Yeah, Cole, nice to meet you, nice man. Nice to meet you. Last time we talked, I told him my favorite movie was Jennifer's Body, and now I'm in a movie written by Diablo Cody. That's right, yeah, it comes full circle. <laughs> yeah, we talked a lot about Jennifer's Body. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, I'm Lisa Frankenstein. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you all really enjoyed this one. If you did, do like, share, and comment on this video. And do not forget to subscribe to The Celebrity Expert. And we'll see you around next time with another brand new video. Till then, keep watching The Celebrity Expert. Bye, guys. <laughs>